Hello, everyone. Hope you all are well. My name is Neha from Future Proof Accountants. And today we're going to talk about how ChatGPT can help us in analyzing our financial reports or management reports. We're going to use Code Interpreter, which is part of the paid version. So let me quickly share my screen with you and show you where it lives. So what you want to do is you want to go to settings here and then come here, click on settings and beta go to beta features and then come here and turn the code interpreter on. This is part of the paid version. We do use ChatGPT4 and we pay for the plus version, which is 20 US dollars a month. Now you want to enable that. And then what you want to do is you can pick up any report. So for example, I've got here um, management report and I'm just going to ask it to visualize uh, or I'll just go visualize now as part of the management report it's got profit and loss balance sheet receivable reports etc I'll just ask it to visualize each receivable report and create bar chart so I've given my instructions so the more specific instructions we give the more specific information we'll get so if I had just said just visualize the data. It's not going to be sure which report it needs to read through. So it's still reading everything. Um, so the good thing is, see how I didn't specify the whole thing. It's just, uh, you know, it's picking up what I want. So I've asked it to create something for age receivable reports. And I would like a, a, uh, a bar chart, I think I mentioned. So it's going to clean up the data so it can understand and then just do the graphs now. So let's go. Beautiful. So now I know who owes us beyond a month and stuff like that. So this is good. I'm happy with that. I can now go ahead and copy and paste um, and use it in the management report. So I hope you liked it um and you have a lot of fun with it you can go in more detail and ask it to um, do a bit more analysis for you so use your chat gpt to the most you can use i even use it yesterday there was um, a client account which was just sent in a bank statement all i did was i imported that in here and i said just get me the details of you know telephone expenses it went through the entire excel uh, of the bank statements picked up just the uh, the phone company expenses and gave it to gave the information to me. So you can get the same information in Excel, but you don't have to do it. You just get ChatGPT to do it for you. So ChatGPT is not going to replace, um, you know, the specialist task, but definitely some of the basic stuff where, uh, stuff where you need it, you like you hand it over to, to a junior person in the office. And if you don't have them, ChatGPT could be that person for you. So I hope you really, really have fun and I hope you find this video useful. I'll see you in the next video.